Well, for all you Ukraine lovers that want to give everything to Ukraine because they're such a great country, looks like Russia just saved the UN officials who went to check on the uh, nuclear power plant there in Ukraine. Looks like Russia just saved them from being killed or taken captive by Ukrainians. Uh oh, guess Zelensky's little secrets are getting exposed. Ukraine sucks. I've said it all along. Again, I'm right. This week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's worst nightmare came true. UN investigators finally arrived at the Zaporizhia nuclear plant. The International Atomic Energy Agency, or the IAEA, investigators aimed to assess the damage inflicted by Russia during recent clashes with Ukraine. However, it was a Herculean task for them to reach the facility. As for Russian allegations, Ukraine tried to abduct IAEA officials from the nuclear plant. However, Russia took steps to ensure that the officials investigate the facility without worrying about the security. According to a report from Caliber.az, United Nations has thanked Russia for protecting the lives of IAEA investigators. Now let's start from the beginning. After the arrival of IAEA investigators near Zaporizhia, Ukraine tried every trick in the book to stop them from entering the nuclear plant. A Ukrainian checkpoint purposely caused a delay in the investigation, which was being headed by IAEA director Rafael Grossi. The team ultimately found its way to the Russian-controlled Enerhodar city of Zaporizhia Oblast after getting delayed for hours. The team spent several hours touring the facility. This was when Ukraine pressed the panic button. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, Ukrainian artillery targeted the city of Enegodar and the Zaporizhia NPP immediately after the arrival of investigators. Furthermore, a group of Ukrainian commanders also crossed the Karkovka Reservoir by boat and attempted to storm the facility. Reportedly, their goal was to seize the Russian-held power plant and use the IAEA staff as human shields to maintain control over the facility. The Russian military took cognizance of the matter and ensured that Ukrainian attempts to seize Zaporizhia fall flat. Russian media reported that the Russian guards wiped out the Ukrainian commandos and took the visiting officials to a safe chamber. After this episode, the UN praised Russia for guaranteeing the safety of officials during the investigation. The chief spokesman of the UN, Stefan Dujaric, expressed his gratitude for Russia. The spokesman stressed, UN is glad for Russia's efforts to safeguard the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, team that came to inspect the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, NPP. The UN spokesperson added, we are glad that the Russian Federation did what it needed to do to keep our inspectors safe. In the early days of the Ukraine war, Russia had gained control of the Enhodar city. Well, 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 it looks like Biden and Hunter, who love Ukraine and keep giving them money so that they can do their drugs and sex deals and steal women and sell them on the black market, sex slaves. That's Hunter's big deal. Uh, looks like that shit's collapsing. Looks like Russia is the good guy in this one and Ukraine sucks ass, like I've said the whole time. The United Nations is already investigating UN for war crimes, not Russia, Ukraine. And now we're going to find out how horrible Ukraine really is because the IAEA is there to investigate and Ukraine tried to kidnap them. Launched an attack on a nuclear facility to try and kidnap International uh, uh, Atomic uh, Energy Association members so that they could so they could coerce the world idiots into thinking they're good people because they only kill people who disagree with them. Kind of sort of like what Biden wants to do. Kill 80% of us for disagreeing with him. Calling us all traitors and domestic terrorists because we want freedom, happiness, and a chance to live our lives. Well, for the idiot 20% of you, fuck off.